Hello, family. It's Ariana, your tarot life coach, bringing you your May tarot scopes. So, it's kind of late, guys. Sorry about that. Um, I've been really, really sick. These videos will be coming out in segments. My voice goes and comes a lot. Um, recovering from bronchitis and um, <laughs> other sinus things. But um, we're moving forward and we're moving and grooving and good things are happening. And today is May 2nd, so they will be coming out in sections, so just be ready. So, with that being said, the reason why I'm shooting the video like this, I did my Taurus video, happy birthday Tauruses. Um, and this is what it's like when you get a video read from me. I basically talk to you, we go through the cards, and then we email back and forth and we discuss what we talked about. So, let's talk about the energies that we got going on this month, okay? Clarifier. I am not an astrologist. I do study though, okay? So, Taurus season is upon us, all right? Meaning the sun is in Taurus, okay? But Uranus is also coming into Taurus, and this is like an 84-year process, okay, before it came back here. So big, big moves for big Taurus, right? It's their time. <laughs> Anyways, look where Uranus is in your chart, and to kind of see where these mix-up and these shake-ups are going to be. It's going to be very important to stay grounded this month also. We are all on a new journey. Big changes are coming, so prepare, prepare, prepare. Be open to things that are new. And on the third, hallelujah, we are finally out of the shady, grady, mercury retrograde, which actually was a blessing in disguise for me and made me prioritize things and see things differently. Let me know if it did for you too. And then on the 12th, Mars is actually going to become a little bit shady and go retrograde. So what does that mean? It actually means like we might start questioning where our passions are, what's going on. Um, is this something I really want? This relationship worth it? That kind of thing. This job getting me anywhere? So that energy might be coming in also. Now, on the, th on the 15th, we have the new moon moving into Taurus. So we're going to have um, the new moon, right? And Uranus, both in Taurus. Uh, and that's going to be like high energy from Uranus until November 6th, okay? So communication things are going to be in big highlight and big changes, okay? M making money moves, all right? Now, on the 16th, Mars goes into Aquarius. Um, and that might have you questioning different things in your life. So look at what Aquarius, where it falls for you in your chart. It depends, okay? And on the 19th, Venus moves into Cancer. So you might be like extra romantic, who knows? <laughs> and on the 20th, the sun moves into Gemini. So happy birthday, Gemmies. What's up? And let me know if y'all want a birthday read, okay? And on the 29th, we have a full moon in Sagittarius. Adventure. So those are the big things that are coming in to us this month. Um, let's see what our collective energy is. Ah! Mm. And yes, I'll be having to bend down all the time in my rigs too. Personal power. Hmm. Much needed to be said. No, this is about us getting rid of relationships that no longer serve us. Friendship-wise, family-wise, and personally, the relationship with the voices in our head that tells us, you're not good enough, you're not this, that's about to end. It's about reclaiming your power, getting rid, about, getting rid of victimization feelings, like, oh, poor me. It's going to be like, oh, no, not, that, not this time. Not today, Johnny. <laughs> not today, Susan. You're not getting away with it that easy. So this is about reclaiming your power, finding your voice, and standing up for yourself. Boundaries, boundaries, boundaries. It's also all blue, so I'm feeling throat chakra super, super strong. So guys, be ready. I will have a channeled message for you and also talk about the energies for you this month. If you're interested in your read, hit me up at arianaluciano at gmail.com or on the gram at arianaluciano. Be blessed, family. Hello, Gemini. It's Ariana, your tarot life coach, bringing you your May tarot scope on Cinco de Mayo, big baby. Yes, yes, yes. So I shot the intro on the second, was about to start shooting videos, my SD card went bad, all this stuff happened technically, my camera went off, and I was like, are you kidding me? Mercury strikes again in that last phase of the shadow. All right, big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives, and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. Hope you guys are doing so much better than I am. <coughs> I'm still struggling. I'm still getting through this. However, let's jump into this energy we got going on. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for giving me an opportunity to join with you and to be a part of your day. If you hear some children in the background, those are just my little family members having a good old time in their bedroom, all right? Now, 
If you like this video, please make sure to hit that like, that share, and even subscribe. Alrighty, so let's talk about the channel message that we got coming in for you. The spirit of empowerment right here, we got a lot of blue coming through on the outside. And for me, that for me is like really voicing things out, like really knowing that you have something that you're birthing in your spirit. And when I say birthing, I don't mean that you're going to go get birth to anything and that kind of thing. But there's some dreams, there's some plans, there's some things that you're ready to get off the ground. This is also symbolic of you being lifted up for great things. Are you ready? Believe in yourself and trust in your intuition. <coughs> a lot of times we don't want to trust it. We're like, nah, that can't be right. No, I'm not right. And guess what? Nine times out of ten, you was right. Okay? So this is also being very true to yourself. And I love the way this, this like a greater being has a little, little baby vulture in its hand. So I'm going to tell you what this means to me also. There are some situations in your life that you ultimately need to transform. And if you see next to it, we have solar plexus energy, but inside that card, we have the dancer of fear with some big, big balls, baby. And I'm going to tell you, the dancer of fear is a very interesting card because it's either fear or faith. Which do you choose? Do you want to be paralyzed by the fear or fulfilled by the faith? Take me to church now, okay? Now... This is also trying to help us to learn how to do things differently. This is fear of, of failure, fear of things of the unknown, afraid of what people are going to say. And then the spirit of empowerment is like, I got you, boo. I got you. We're going to break through these barriers. We got this. And so that is your channeled message this month is knowing that you were made for great things, that you're probably going to make some huge decisions this month. And don't let the fear keep you from making that step or keep you from not <coughs> making that choice that you need to make, all right? Now, I'm going to move these two cards. I had to move this because it was like super glared. And I was like, oh my gosh, all that white on top. So, the, the energy for you this month is Mr. Elefante. And I'm going to tell you this one about some big, big balls with y'all. Y'all going to make some big life decisions. First, we got the big balls with fear. And then we have the elephant coming through. The elephant is known for having the largest genitals. So there is a lot of fertility in your life. And fertility does not only mean to have babies, guys. Fertility means... What you put your mind to, just know it's going to grow, okay? Whether that is fear-based or faith-based. It is all depending on you. But the thing about the elephant, it's coming through for you this month, and I found it quite interesting that by the book also came out. I mean, it's so odd when the cards align like this. <laughs> but the elephant feels the vibrations on their feet, okay? Trust your intuition this month. Trust the vibes that you're getting. You don't have to be super aggressive to get things done, okay? Just when you walk in the room, Jimmy, okay, with your fly-ass self, you're going to make people look at you and notice you. You're standing out. Keep your ears open. I, th I feel it's very important for you to trust the vibes. We got walrus also coming in for you. That's another thing. However, I always think about Ganesh. When I see the elephant, what is that obstacle you've been trying to break through? What is that thing that's trying to come through for you? Now, remember, on the 15th, is it the 15th? Oh, I need to make sure. I'm looking at my notes. Do, 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 do. Yes, on the 15th, Uranus is moving into Taurus, okay? Be aware that there's going to be some shakeups, so be brave, my friend. Be brave and stand in your power. Allow the energy to be removed. This is also about you finding your spiritual network, your spiritual family, who's going to be there because there's a lot of connection with the elephant herd, okay, with, the, with how they take care of each other. This is a lot of motherly energy too, okay? Now, mentally we have walrus. And I'm telling you, you need to look, listen, and learn and feel the vibrations like Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch you say, okay? Yes, I'm from the 90s. Really the 80s, okay? <laughs> Anyways, um, your dreams are going to be talking to you a lot this month. Be very clear with them. Take, you, look at things below the surface, like icebergish, you know? Like, mm, he's tripping on this. But I know there's something more going on. And trust that intuitive feeling that you're getting because walrus is all about intuition. 
It also recommends you keeping a journal this month, kind of keeping it with like, I would even recommend, if you don't believe in journaling, when you write things down, you give it life and you give it power. Pay attention to the omens. What is showing up? Do a lot of butterflies show up? Are you seeing the number 222? Two, two, two? What's going on? Keep those things in mind. Is there a certain song that always comes on the radio? Is there a thought that pops in your head? Those kinds of things are going to be showing up for you also this month. Discernment, discernment, discernment. But this is about being sociable. This is about survival, being alert, and also check your circulation this month because Walrus is all about circulation, okay? Now, by the book is coming out, and it has its own definition in the book, but this is what I kind of feel is going on. you got to find that group of people who are going to support you. You're going to find those. That it's time for you to step into leadership. It's time for you to step into your into your power, okay? <laughs> but this is attributed to going by social rules, conforming, not trying to like reinvent the wheel. Follow the rules to the T if you're at work. Do not try to cut corners this month. Don't be shady, boo, okay? Don't be the shady girl in the office. Do what you gotta do. Make sure things are getting done. Being at peace. Remember the law of karma, the law of attraction. Those kinds of things are coming to you. This is about getting along with others even if you don't agree with them. We do not have to like everybody, but we must love and respect them, okay? And if by loving and respect them means I don't Fs with you, you know, you're going to stay over there, boo-boo, and I'm going to stay over here, then that's the way we do it. That doesn't mean that you go by Sharon's desk and tip over her coffee every morning because you don't like the bee, okay? No, no, no. You might think it, but you ain't got to do it, okay? Because I'm sure Sharon's going to react, because most Sharons do. Anyways, in prosperity, just make sure that whatever you're working on, diligently, you're going to get the return for it, Gemini. All your hard work is going to go into, pl into play, okay? You're going to get it back to you. Abundance is coming. Think about Ganesh, removing the obstacles, and the abundance is coming. Now, spiritually, from the Isis Oracle, we have the Queen of Heaven, and this is a confirmation about leadership. And this, this is a hottie right here. And she's like, come to me, right? And anyways, whatever you were thinking about doing, apply for it, okay? Go for the gold. Go for the change. There's going to be a lot of shakeups in careers and education and foundations because Uranus is all about, I'm about to throw things down. We're about to make things happen, baby. Okay, so be ready for that. Now, it talks about the circle of life and being aware of where you're standing and understanding your responsibility and growth, which kind of goes back to by the book, okay? But this is one part I want you to think about. Spiritually, allow the release of forgiveness that comes with compassion and the freedom to grow that brings in your relationship with authority. Some of y'all are having issues with authority, whether it be a parent, whether it be a boss, whether you, it's whoever you let be, you know, in power of you. <sighs> Understand that there are certain things that you have to follow. I'm not saying, like, huh, go in there and wreck shop. But I'm just saying, buy the book. Apply that and understand where you fit in the circle of life and understand that if you're being called into leadership, that you're using your leadership in the most healthiest way and the most beneficial way not only for you but for others all right so that is your mind body soul baby and we're gonna jump into your read now I did get some new cards guys and um, they don't shuffle like the other ones and I don't want to bend them up because when I bought these cards I ain't gonna lie to y'all okay they were like <laughs> eight dollars at um, half price books okay I went to go buy them again. They were $200. And there was stuff about some girl on a YouTube channel that really made them look cool. And I was like, is that me? <laughs> so luckily a friend gifted me her set because we bought them together. And she could never read with them, so she let me have them. So we will be shuffling very differently. <sighs> there will not be no grrr going on because I am not bending these bad boys, all right? And they look so beautiful and so brand new. So let's bless these cards. Say to tell bless these cards for Gemini's for the month of May. Shows the energy coming in for them. Shows the energy coming in for them. Okay. 
I think the number two is going to be a big deal for you, where here's 11. So I do think the number two is going to be a big deal, because I wrote two ones and then a two. Um, partnerships, relationships, and contracts. Trust your intuition on them, Gemini, okay? Sun, moon, and rising. Just trust it. Do it by the book, baby. All right. First position. What we got? What we got? Show me what you got. We got strength. All right. Second position. We got the Ten of Cups. Oh, I forgot to split the deck with you guys. I got excited. Nine of Pentacles reversed. Eight of Arrows upright. Woo! Three of Swords reversed. Overall energy is the Carob of Disc. You do have a very strong spiritual guide around you. So, <laughs> let's tap into this energy. You are going to feel lots of anxiety over something that you want to have strength in, but you feel very restricted about. And it's almost like overpowering. Some of y'all are dealing with the sign of Leo. There's a lot of lions going on. Or you're dealing with the number eight, something in August that you're dreading, okay? However, my friend, the strength is coming from your past. Your past is telling you to be strong. Remember what you've went through. I almost feel like some of y'all are protecting your fort because you see the ziggurat right here in the back. That's the home. He's like protecting that. And that lion is like, oh, and he's got his back. So that is your past situation coming through for you. But you, you made it through that. You can make it through anything. <clears throat> now, in the present, we have the Ten of Cups. Some of y'all are trying to find completion and success, whether it's in the family. This is an emotional card for me because of all the cups. And or at work. And some of y'all are going to be traveling this month because this Ten and the Nine are right next to each other. Family vacations that are going to eat up a lot of money, okay? So be aware that you might have to restrict your spending this month or you're going to be hurt in Gemini, okay? Pay attention to the finances. Now, this Ten of Cups in the moment, I feel like we need to clarify it. We're going to use the Wisdom of the Oracle. And we have flexibility, and it's coming out reverse. Let me make sure. Some of y'all are looking for a new job, okay? And being that flexibility is the number 19, which comes down to the number 10, that's two 10s in your read. So it is a very good time for you to be very flexible on what you're applying for and how you're applying for it. So there we go. I know y'all hear my two-year-old. She's, she's having a blast. So I kind of feel we've been kind of stuck in a rut thinking that things are supposed to be a certain way. And that's the only way to be successful. Be open-minded. You have the power of the elephant right now to come move those barriers out of the way. So this is a protection message. You are becoming very rigid about the way things should be, the way that you, the way that you think happiness should be. And the universe is telling you to lighten up. Okay, there is some growth and some untapped potential inside of you that you ain't even touch, big baby. And it's time for you to reach in there. Loosen up. Take a break, Gemini. Y'all are the best ones at making light of situations. But when you get alone, it's like that other half of you just comes in and just messes everything up for you and you get in your head, okay? So find a way with different answers, okay? And it's a great time to tap into your spirit guides right now or whoever you pray to um, because they want to bring you guidance. Now, the hidden influence is the Nine of Pentacles reversed. I feel like some of y'all are very stressed out financially. You put a lot into something and you're not getting your return. You're not getting it the way you thought you were going to get it. So you might have to be a little bit ref reflexible, real flexible, a little bit flexible about how you're seeing success. Okay, so maybe you're not making more money, but you have more freedom. Maybe you have less freedom and more money. Whatever it is that you were looking for, it doesn't look the same. I want to clarify that Nine of Pentacles. Let's see if it's that deck. Yeah. <clears throat> we got the hands of a five year old over here trying to shuffle these big old cards. It's hard. Okay, so I had three cards come out. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see, make sure if this is it. So this is a karmic issue also because I just rolled the five for you. And we have the divine consciousness coming in. And I told you that your guides are really trying to connect with you this month. 
and they are okay so it's about being open it's about learning and it's about listening divine consciousness is also going to tell you that it's time to kind of clear up some things drink lots of water this month watch what you're eating um it's also a connection to archangel gabriel who supervises these transitions that you're going through because you're getting a little bit you're like um what is it leveling up i guess you would say but this is about, um, it, it, once again, the word journal is jumping off of the page. So making sure that you're keeping a journal of the things that are coming to you because your guides are bringing you messages right now. Some of y'all are outgrowing situations, uh, situationships, relationships, jobs, things that you felt very comfortable in. And you're feeling this, this vibe to do something. And that is a message from your higher power, okay? Now, the advice is the eight of arrows. <sighs> So with this, some of y'all are fighting for an uphill battle that's getting you absolutely nowhere, whether in relationship, whether it's work, whether it's in family, and it's time to drop the emotional baggage. Here he has this heavy, heavy sack on his back and he's going uphill and people shoot arrows all around him. If there's a lot of gossip where you work right now, Gemini, drop the load and walk away. Do not engage in it because it is not worth it. And I do want to clarify that. Mm. No. I know y'all hear her. She just, she loves to talk. My, my little one just loves, um, it doesn't want to be clarified with that. It doesn't want to be clarified. She loves to talk a lot, guys. So I don't know where she gets it. Probably from me. <laughs> Anyways, the three of arrows reversed. Some of y'all are taking it to heart. The things that you're hearing, you're taking it to heart. And it's almost like it's saying, the word that comes to my mind is ricochet. Ricochet. I really want to say ricka motherfucking shay because what you say to me doesn't stick to me, okay? <laughs> it's your opinion of me, which is really your opinion of yourself. So people might be talking noise, they might be very judgmental of you, and you know how he has this rainbow over him? I almost feel like you need to kind of put yourself in a bubble of light and then proceed. Do not take it to heart right now. And there are some things emotionally that you are going through that, that do hurt, but I feel like the arrows are starting to come out, and that lion that was attacking you is about to get it, all right? <laughs> it has to be this one, let me see. You got camel energy. Whether this is financial and you just don't think that this month is going to be what it is for you, because remember, we have a lot of Venus activity going on with Taurus. So finances are going to be really, really important. On the 19th, when Venus moves into Cancer, <laughs> you might want to redecorate the whole house and, and you might overspend. But this is about realizing that you have the resources to get through the challenges before you. Do not engage in anything that restricts you from being in your strength and in your courage because your success is coming and that's what by the book is telling you okay now your overall energy is your spirit guide and I'm gonna put it right there that's the carob of disc and the carob of disc is here to make things happen I feel like this is your Taurus like energy I would even say if you have if you have your astrological chart kind of see what house um, Taurus falls in and kind of like figure that out like what's going on with you there all right now Let's see what he has to say to you. Not from that deck. Not that deck. Okay, we're gonna go right back to this. You have a lot of things coming this month because when Isis has a lot to say, it's a lot of spiritual stuff. Um, you might be shedding some spiritual debris. <coughs> this one wanted to come out earlier for you. So pillar of light, and that is what your spirit guide is trying to tell you, okay? Shine bright, but be aware that when you shine bright, everything comes to you, okay? Be very aware of what you're putting off, what kind of energy you're putting off. It's time to strengthen your energy field, okay? Take care of yourself. This is earth star, soul star, chakra, okay? Now... Remember to have mercy if you are 
um, working with other people and they're just like coming through to you, you need to take stay in your heart space. Um, don't get involved in the he said, she said, boo-boo doo-doo, okay? You don't need any of that, Gemini. Just stand your ground, emanate your light. I am going to tell you, this is going to be one of those times that even doing like an Archangel Michael meditation, putting yourself in a bubble so that that energy can't come through to you. You have a lot going on this month and a lot of growth that is happening. So it's very important that you stay with that, Hi, okay? Mom. Hi, babe. Hi, All right. <laughs> Welcome to my house, guys. <laughs> I do have something for you. I was talking a lot about Uranus. So like I said, this is one of those months really to work with your intuition and trust the vibes and put yourself in the bubble. Uranus is trying to teach you the lesson of Petra, okay? Petra is about exploration. It's located in Mayan, Jordan, and I might be saying that wrong, but this is about unpredicted change as possible for you. If you've been feeling like you're just going through life and you need to get out and do different things, then that's the truth because it's time to, to explore what the world has to offer you. But in the middle world, and this is where I'm telling you, someone's trying to like bring you down and you have to really protect your energy. The facade of the treasury at Petra was spectacular, but it was that, it was a facade. Maybe you're insecure, but pretend to be the life and soul of the party. Stop pretending to be something you're not, okay? Do not hide your spirituality also, so that others will be comfortable around you. Now. On top of the card is the potential, and that's Al Uza. She's known as the strong one, and I kind of feel like that's you this month, that you are the strong one. And she was revered as the goddess morning of the evening star Venus. Once again, Venus rules Taurus and Libra, okay? Now, your previous persona is about to change if you're willing to be courageous, which is what you were doing in the past. So whatever you were doing what, yesterday, the day before, I mean, not the day before, yesterday and beyond, you've got to move that to the next level. So opportunities for travel and new friendships are coming your way if you're willing to be very authentic and just be who you are. And like I told y'all, some of y'all are traveling with that nine and that 10 next to each other. Some of y'all are doing work-related travel also. So instead of struggling, just go with the flow, okay? And discover the hidden treasures inside of you. This also indicates numerology is calling you and you should look into the gift of numerology. Now, numbers are very important. You need to pay attention to them this month. Pay attention to what the numbers are telling you and what the omens are telling you. Even in this card, it's telling you that. Now, your crystal this month is iron pyrite. And I found it quite interesting that you get fool's gold, okay, when we're talking about the facade. Now, this is about innovation and successful. The 10 of cups is about success. Now, known as fool's gold, it is a stone that asks you to look beyond the surface, and that is what your spirit guide is telling you to do with the elephant, with the walrus, all right? Now, <coughs> pyrite facilitates the realization of innovative and creative ideas, bringing abundance to success. It's also reflective and used as a mirror in ancient Mexico. Oh, hey, 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 happy Cinco de Mayo, all right? These reflective qualities are seen as protective, warding off negative energies. I'm telling you, you need to ward off that energy that people are sending your way, okay? And no, I don't mean like they're like lighting candles and sending you hoodoo voodoo. I mean like they're just like, oh, who does she think she is? Or, oh, he thinks he's so hot. Ugh. And, and it's just like shade, man. Like they need to go throw their shade somewhere else. All right. Now, this is uplifting and positive energies that can help overcome doubt, depression, and despair. This is great for blood flow. Remember, the walrus said that there were circulation issues. Some of y'all might want to go get that checked. This is also helpful for sleep disorders and digestive upsets, okay? Now, drawing this card indicates it's time to open your mind, which has come out for you a few times, and realize your inner creativity. It asks you to stop procrastinating and bring forward your dreams to the light. And you are the light, Gemini. All right, Jimmy, big, big hugs. Hope you guys have a blessed, blessed month. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Sorry about the wait. And if you're interested in a read, hit me up at arianaluciano at gmail.com or on the gram at arianaluciano. Be blessed, fam.